in the browser. Last time, Tyler didn't really leave the work with a sexy girlfriend, and it was alright, I guess. So, now, we're coming to work, and this funky music's playing. Hell yes. Aw, oh, damn. Why can't every day be like this for me? Hey, bro. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh... Carl is looking for you. What's that music playing in the background, Tyler? You ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. What the hell is happening? Yeah. Ah. Just look at his walk. It's like he almost looks like he's dancing on these stairs. Results back? Carla wanted to wait till you got here. Okay, I'm gonna go dump my stuff and we'll be right back. <laughs> they look all jagged, bro. Ask me what's new, I dare you. I loaned you about six months ago. I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example. <sighs> Jeffrey, don't tell me you're prepared to ruin a beautiful friendship for a hundred lousy dollars. This may surprise you, but yes. So give up the cash before I start to get really angry. <laughs> Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b ball for your hundred bucks. <laughs> If you win, I'll give you 200 bucks right now. Oh, then. God. But if you lose, we cool. You'll give me 200 bucks if I win. You got my word, man. I'm gonna basketball hoop in my office. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jack. Is he gonna punch I'll come me? I'll and see you when I get five minutes. I don't wanna do it. What's in this pan? The waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? All right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. She doesn't seem pissed at all. Maybe she's used to this. <coughs> yeah. Be wrong. He's so easy to Yeah, tricky moves for this, but even the yo-yo makes me like go all out. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry I asked you about worrying this morning. It was stupid of me. I'm so terrified that something might happen to you. I know you check your email at work because you're such a terrible worker. It might happen to you sometimes. I forget how cool you're working. I have that one down to convince you to change. I love you, Sam. Oh. I 
accidentally pressed F. I thought it wasn't recording. I have no idea. I just pressed F12 by accident. I got it. Well, that's good to hear. I think we got everything. Um. Wait, I didn't hang up my coat. Go back! It's important that I hang up my coat. Hey, yo, hey, bro. Take you out of basketball. I'm gonna stare you down. Hello. What do you want to start with? Your crappy outfit. Not what did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They match those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. Why is he shaking his head around? Oh, no. table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim. <laughs> But the weird thing is, we also found blood from the killer. Coffee Did you find cup. anything on the coffee cup? The only prints we found belonged to the waitress. That's impossible, man. That cup was half empty. Somebody must have drank it. I poured it into the abyss of Satan. What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim. It was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. Were there any prints on the book that was under the table? Yep. And they match the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked <laughs> like that a so very surprising. old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. You're a genius. What do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle. But it doesn't make struggle. sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. And I asked that. Why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Gary. Someone slap that guy. Oh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing. You figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. Nothing else the boys have to do. Catch you later. Uh, yeah, why not? Wait. Fine. Nice Hello. sweater. Hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please, take a seat. Now, we're gonna try and assemble the a composite fan. photo of the site. Why is she so wearing a uniform? We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morris? No. No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. I don't think I could ever do I something like that. Okay, let's go. How's it like a video game? NYP face builder, are you kidding me? Well, look at his hair! It's still green. Okay. No. If? No. That's about right. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Uh, I think I have it. <laughs> What's with that face? Yeah. Tell me 
this isn't a real thing, by the way. I think it kind of looks like that. Let's get these eyes. face is a little bit their milk. Good now is this the face of the person you saw? Hell yeah. Yes. At least that's how I remember him. Really? Thank you very much for your help. We're going to get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrol. I think it looks this like This guy it. is still in New York. We're going to find him. And go buy yourself a video game. Cherry. Uh. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, what a nice voice! If you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. Well, I'm just pretty sure it's made everything nice, so it doesn't really matter. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. Oops. I wasn't paying attention! Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Get ready. Uh, fracture of the occipital bone. Fail. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. Great. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? But you're killing him. Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. So the blade was driven in deeply. The stabs seem to have been delivered from the front That's and good. moved from left to right. Great, apparently. One stab neatly cut the aorta. Why can't this guy tell us? Two stop. Cut the left and right. I'm about to decide for it. He really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Oh. Uh, Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Yeah, it's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death from this man. That's well. Yeah, great but... Do you think it was just by chance? Difficult to say. The chances of cutting all three main arteries to the heart with three lucky stabs are fairly small, but um, it's not impossible. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was. Is that I get two questions because I only have two magic sciences. Exactly the same. Right? Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. Dun, 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 dun. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Carsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Yeah, when someone tell me a weird name about that. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Because I'm artist. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, that's bad. Okay, uh, I'm tired. So, 
Okay, that's all for now. Like, favorite, if you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.